initiating satellite scan. The Irish Hugs. Hell yeah, this is awesome as fuck. I uh, appreciate you checking it out. Hey, What's your name, man? Sean. I'm Marcus, good to meet you, nice brother. Nice to meet you, Marcus. What's up, YouTube? Coming in with a little channel update. So I'm out here at my secret spot, and we're gonna do a little uh, voltage drop testing today. So we've got this 200 amp hour lipo bank of lithium. Uh, I've got this little temporary plexi cover. This is kind of what I'm looking for, though. I'm gonna come back with another piece that fits just right, this fog, and then I'm gonna backlight it. I'm gonna have all this trimmed out. But uh, yeah, this was just a piece of plexi I had sitting around in the in the garage, and I mean it's. It's almost perfect size, just a little bit short for what I need it. But it, it'll work for a temporary just to, you know, kind of have something protecting the batteries from this back deck anyways. I mean, it doesn't move any, but, you know, it makes me feel a little better. But today, we're going to do a little, uh, got some traffic here, but we're going to do a little uh, voltage drop testing. So, a couple days ago, I fully charged up this lithium bank, so it's got a couple days drain on it, and I've been playing it a little bit. So we're going to do a little testing now. Uh, probably later today, I will uh, go ahead and charge the batteries all the way up. I'm off tomorrow, so we'll come back out when we have a fully fresh charge, and we'll see what the difference in voltage looks like then. Uh, my alt is being built. I'm in about week two of a three-week process now, so hopefully I should get the alt back soon. And then we really, we really should see super strong voltage then. Hardly have hard, hardly have any fucking voltage drop. So we'll see. But yeah, let's check out this shit and uh, let's see what it drops down to. Here we got the deep hitters. Brunt line 9 series. We got 200 amp hours of lithium. Right now we just had the machete M50 150.4. And we got a 50.4 that's not connected right now. We have these mids boxes until my doors are fiberglass. We got a 10, a 6.5, and, and a super tweeter in each one. So let's do a little testing. I'm going to turn around the camera and I'm going to have it just on the voltmeter so y'all can see what we're looking at. Check it out. All right, so for this testing, I'm gonna make note. I'm gonna do everything the same. I said again, the batteries, you know, been draining a little bit. I'm currently sitting about 14.3, 14.4 resting. My head unit is gonna to be to my maximum uh, volume that I use for a demo, which is gonna be 60. So we're gonna turn it up to 60. We're gonna take note of where the base knob's at, and we're gonna take note of the voltmeter. So we're gonna replicate all this later on. We're gonna play the same song, turn the you know, the bass on up the same, same volume. So let's check it out. This is going to be a DJ Siren track. We're going to play some Future. Let's get it turned up. Another dude to cool for the millionaires. DJ Siren. Hey, last. It's over. We won. Bought a fan up because I always want to win. Made a fan with them bitches, ain't no one on one. All right, so we see after we start playing on it for a little bit, the alt just can't keep up anymore. Like I say, right now we got the Mechman 240. It's only clamping about 120 amps, so there's an issue with it. I'll eventually have it rebuilt. But let's pop the hood so you can see what it looks like. But yeah, right now we got a CES 370 on the way. Got a custom powder coat with it, so it should be pretty nice. But there's the Mechman that's on there now. It's a single 240. You had no front battery, it's an AGM delete. So it's just the one lithium in the back getting everything done. 
but we're gonna give it a second to kind of rebuild a little bit. We're gonna have to get on the gas. But we're gonna give it a minute to charge up and then we're gonna try a different song, kind of see where we're at there. And then, like I said, later on in the video, we'll come back with a fresh charge. And then we'll compare that later on once we get the alt. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're back. We gave it about five minutes here. The voltage really isn't wanting to come up too much. I get up to about 14.3, but like I said, this alt's not really doing a whole bunch of anything. So for the next song we're going to play, it's also a DJ Siren track. I have it as track number 66. It is Gucci Mane. Let's see what the name is. It'll get to it. All right, this is called Third Quarter. The version is 27 to 33. This one, I think, man, once my voltage is right, I think this will get a couple people to tap. It's a long, high note. But anyways, let's check it out. even front that fucking that, that one there gets me a little bit shit boy i cannot wait for this voltage to be right i think this bill's really gonna fucking open up and if you're not familiar let's turn on some lights for you real quick we have four duff bounce sa db 315s wired at a half ohm again stay tuned for the rest of the video let's see what this does after a fresh charge we'll play these same songs again and see what that voltage looks like Stay tuned. The next day. All right, YouTube. So we're back day two we've got a fresh charge when i left the house we were sitting at 14.7 i haven't played it any but the alt i guess just brought it back down to 14.6 so anyways we're going to start with the same song that we did in the beginning yesterday it's going to be the future volume is going to be a 60 bass knob to the same spot and let's see what it drops to told you bro seven seven enough dead to prove for the millionaires dj sideways they last we won
that shit's fucking knocking, I'll tell you that. That damn charge makes a difference. Damn. All right, let's go to the next song. We're going to give it a second, let this charge back up. We'll be right back to you. All right, so we're at the bass spot. We had a guy right by. He wants to hear it, so we let him check it out. You ever heard live bass before? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Makes you hard to breathe, I tell you that. <laughs> uh, I'll give you something uh, a little lower frequency now. I'm going to switch windows with you so yeah, you get yeah. the windy side. I'm on this last leg over here. Bought a fan on cause I always wanted one. Made a fan with them. Appreciate you checking it out. Yeah, What's your name, man? Sean. Marcus, good to meet you, nice brother. Nice to meet you, Marcus. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate you checking it out, man. Thanks, brother. Yeah, that was awesome shit. Appreciate it. All right, so part two of the voltage drop test went a little differently than I expected. Dude pulled up over there. He's got a skateboard. There's a nice little little path out here for people to chill out. So he said he was out here the other day. Yesterday when we were doing part one of the testing, and heard us way out through the woods. So today when he saw me, he definitely wanted to stop and... uh Take a listen to it. So we see a little bit of a difference in numbers. We're definitely holding voltage a lot better with a fresh charge. So next time around, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison from the Mechman 240 to the CES 370. And we'll see what the difference uh, this alt made. So again, appreciate everyone checking out the video. Hope y'all liked that little demo. It was unplanned. But until next time, stay tuned. Peace and base out. Hey, I'm subscribe. Motherfuckers. Thank you.